What's up, creatures and cryptos, and welcome back to Infected Perception. I, of course, am Lilac Dama. I go by she, they pronouns. Uh, we are going to go through our peeps and do our fun fact for the day. Brittany, tell us a fun fact about Mugwort. Um, Mugwort would very much like to save up his pennies to buy some fancy, like, uh, heeled snakeskin boots one day that are appropriately sized for his small frame. Oh, all right. <laughs> some snakeskin boots. And, of course... Moth, can you tell us a fun fact about Billy Bob? Mm, I'm trying to think. I <laughs> forgot that we do the fun facts. Uh, <laughs> do a little jig over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't have... I genuinely don't have anything. <laughs> nah, Alright. Uh, <laughs> right now, what's his favorite ice cream flavor? Ice cream flavor. I just thought mint. Not mint chocolate, just mint. Just, yes, just, uh, just mint. I want <laughs> that. Hell oh, yeah. I love mint, but I hate the chocolate chips in it. Really? I like to mm. get, I get, I get like the mint cookie crumble from Ben and Jerry's. And those are really good. Ooh, nice. And of course. It's basically just cookies and cream, but mint ice cream. Ooh, I'm intrigued. Dude, actually, I made a cookie, like, giant cookie thing in the oven the other day, and apparently you can make it in the microwave, and it looked like it was very much not done. <laughs> I had to put it in there for 20 minutes. Oh, no. <laughs> it was good, though. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so, yeah. Tiffany, can you just tell us a fun fact about Rel? Yeah, so when Rel was totally breaking it down in dance that couple sessions ago, that awakened something inside of them, <laughs> and they love dancing now. Oh, shit. Maybe, maybe <laughs> multiple class, who knows, who knows? <laughs> Right. Multiclass wow. dancing? Multiclass in the bar. I mean, I mean, he's a monk, and, <laughs> yeah. and there are fight styles that are based around dancing, so I uh, mean... Oh my god, Ooh. maybe. Oh my god, have y'all heard of dance pyres? <laughs> no. What? Dancing vampires are called no. dance pyres. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, uh, without further ado, let's head back into the world. You all had just finished uh, clearing out a... Mm the area where the zombie uh, servants had been being made and had deactivated them and had been heading out of a uh, escape shaft where the, uh, the little guy who you guys had bullied very severely uh, left from. <laughs> um, as you guys all like finished getting to the top of it, you can see the uh, barren wastelands of the Underdark, uh, the weird like winding tunnels and tubes and hills as uh, your compatriot person who you guys had been bullying, uh, it, you can see they're actively running towards the city. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I would say, along with this, uh, you guys were revealed to the location of the last generator, um, which seemed to be in an old city, like at least, like a place that had been falling apart. Uh, along with this, I will say, right. the uh, in the distance, uh, the like greenish like shield that covers up a, a weird like building connected to like a whole like ruined like uh, like tower thing is very much fading fast. You can see it's like flickering and trying to hold firm, but is having some issues. But yeah, what do y'all do? Wait, is that where our little buddy's running? Uh, so your guy is running straight towards the city you guys were at before. They're, like, trying to run there as fast as oh, possible. Okay. <laughs> trying to get away. <laughs> I get very much so. He's, like, trying to book it. <laughs> like, oh, smart. <laughs> Just Ooh. awkwardly laughing, because that was my fault. <laughs> I, I, I know I named him, but I don't know what I, exactly his name was. I don't remember either. I, I knew it was something silly, but I forgot what the fuck it was. I know I wrote it down <laughs> somewhere. Hmm. Huh. I believe it was probably. Hmm. I don't know. I, I'm gonna keep looking for this if you guys I want it. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Stains. That was his name. <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy Stains was running away. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Just let him go. It's Jimmy. It's, it's, it's <laughs> Mr. Stains. Like, sounds hard enough. <laughs> Mr. Stains. You can also see that his footprints leave like a gray stain in the ground as he runs away. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, right. So, what does the story squad do next? Uh, can I roll for perception? Just, just guess what's over in that green thing, city thing? Hell yeah, dude. I have like. Don't I have, like, e extra perception with my flower? Or is no, that just gives me, like, a better perception, right? Uh, you're talking about your flower friend, right? Yeah! I think, uh, I forget the exact rules of it, I'm not gonna lie. I think, I think um, like, you get to re-roll once, right? Or have an advantage on one yeah. time, because they get to look for the free Yeah, advantage. Yeah, so if you want to, well, you can I... get a re-roll. 
Okay, so I rolled a three, and she rolled a nineteen. So <laughs> my girl's gonna help me now. <laughs> oh my god! So your little flower friend like walks up to your ear and says, "Uh, hey, here's some things that I uh, I perceived." <laughs> And uh, so you can tell that further into the uh, the direction of the uh, the glowing green area um, is you can tell that there's like a, a very like fancy looking industrial building connected to what looks like old ass ruins. Along with that, you can see the name uh, Samuel Romero on like in neon lights on the top of it. Uh, but they, they use like their fucking zooming eyeballs to look all the way over there. Scope, <laughs> flower scope. <laughs> yeah, fl- flower scope. The flow. <laughs> <laughs> also, let me get my fucking map out so I can see exactly what's near you guys. Uh, Wait, what was the name? Samuel Romero. 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 Yeah. Is so, that a is that a name we've heard? Uh, Forget. <laughs> we've heard Romero. Like yeah. Is. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, along with that, because you guys are actually pretty close to it, um, your flower can see that there is a uh, pile of ruins uh, to you guys' uh, southeast. <laughs> Uh, the place that uh, your fr- your uh, your friend is running is is west, very much west, straight. <laughs> Are we just letting that guy go? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's still going. <laughs> he's fucking it, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't blame him. <laughs> just just wondering. I mean, if you got he he's not gonna stop. He's just still. Okay. I just imagine he's like dropping his like papers on the ground, like a, like a calculator falls out of his pocket. <laughs> Oh my god, what a nerd. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, brother. Billy Bob! Yes, brother. Yeah. My flower friend has told me that the ruins over there bear the name Romero. Oh, brother. You are so silly talking to flowers. <laughs> Rel's gonna, like, pat him on the shoulder. <laughs> You pass you can feel slime, uh, like snail slime on it. Yeah. Uh, not at all deterred. <laughs> <laughs> well, even so, that might be our next destination. What do you think, Billy Bob? I mean, go to that last generator and take it out. Or try to, at least. Do we remember where the last generator was? Uh, you were told- I think she said where it was, yeah. You were told the generator is in the, uh, the ruins and, uh, uh, the- Flower thing saw both ruins and Samuel Romero's place, which looks like a very fancy building connected to gross stuff. <laughs> All right. Also, keep in mind how many hit points you have. I'll say that. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh no. Oh god. So I what's the right choice? In a while. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm twenty. David's like Billy Bob, uh, my man. Uh, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm I'm good. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> he gives you like a very weird thumbs up. Trying to find if I got hit last time. I mean, you are using a horse HP. That's true. <laughs> you probably didn't horse take any HP. damage. <laughs> you forgot your fucking horse. <laughs> <laughs> the mud horse. Yeah. A horse talking to a flower. You know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I have a hat on. on. Don't forget, I'm wearing a top hat with a dollar sign sigil on it. With oh, a of bunch of eyeballs sticking out of your little tendrils. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah and a floating eye. eyeball. You know, I'm surprised they let me walking. in the city. Also, uh, like <laughs> also uh, you have a cat with you, I'll say that. That little, uh, <laughs> little ghost cat. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, right. I forgot about the ghost cat. <laughs> ghost cat kind of like just chills like right by your leg, kind of like rubs up against you and goes, meh. Oh my god, I'm gonna, a, I'm gonna have a whole army unto myself. <laughs> right? You're just gonna be leading a legion of just forest animals. Except like the cat's Disney the only one that's that's done any fighting. <laughs> well, the cat's a warlock. Oh. The, uh, the cat's the a flower. Warlock. Yeah, it cast Elvish Blast, what are you talking about? <laughs> I forgot, okay? It's been a while since we fought with the fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the amount of lore that's been building is amazing. It's insane! Okay. So, uh, what direction do you guys want to go in? So, so, so what now? I guess the ruins, right? I think so. I mean, I don't, yeah. like, imagine there's much else I'm looking at other than the guy running off into the distance, and then <laughs> one thing that looks really <laughs> interesting. Into a dot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, I don't know where we should go. There's, like, two <laughs> options. <laughs> <laughs> like, Three, including man. the guy. Yeah, you can just go be his ass again. 
my god. No, I think I think we're done with that. <laughs> Wait, we still have our other guy with us too, right? Uh, yeah, David's with you. David. David. Mark him. Present. Bell's gonna try and crawl up onto his brother's back. <laughs> All right, roll, little, roll. Little dangly legs. Roll, roll a dex check. <laughs> we'll just say dex uh, I'm actually very dexterous, so I see oh. no problem with this at mm. all. 18 plus 2 Damn. is 20. So you're just like, you You look, everyone looks away for one second, and then immediately roll us on Mugwort's back. It's like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> As the humans say, get it up. <laughs> <laughs> we shall go now, brother. And uh, I start walking towards the ruins, because why not? All right. Uh, wait, 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 Rail's going to pat pat your butt and be like, David, I have saved you a seat. Oh, hell yeah, man. He hops up there. <laughs> and uh, and Mugwort, you feel uh, like a, he a hefty-like thing like on the on the back of your back. It's like, whoa. <laughs> okay. Big ass. Because I imagine myself as more of a pony, but okay. <laughs> oh, 100%. 100% I, in my brain looks very... So like, you're like... <laughs> More like, ponies. if you were a bike, the back tire would be flat right now? Yes. <laughs> Lily, oh, no. MLP infection, fucking uh, pinky pie. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, oh, my, my, my little legs are strained, but I muscle through it, because I am a war pony. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, and y'all head off to the uh, the ruins. Now, as you guys uh, begin approaching the uh, city of ruins, you see that multiple buildings are falling over, uh, like... The glass shattered, uh, like the area, like the plants that were around the uh, the underdark have grown in and gone, like surrounded these things. But then you see that a lot of them have been ripped out of the ground. Uh, and as you guys get further into, like, a, just around the city, you can see, like, a at the edge of it, you can hear the sound of bubbling uh, from, you know, sort of nearby. But it seems like it's coming from further in the city. Bubbling, like water bubbling, or like tar bubbling. Uh, make a nature, or uh, yeah, nature check. I almost said natural world. <laughs> I can't, oh, I can't wait to go Jeff, to right? uh, uh, Ooh, 16. Okay, this sounds like the bubbling of lava. Ooh. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, great. Not my favorite thing to find. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this? A fucking Bowser <laughs> type of shit? It's I just me. imagine the Bowser laugh. <laughs> 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 Bowser. Like in, in Mario 64. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> is it hot here? Uh, it's like, the Underdark in general is kind of like, like, if you were to ever go to Florida, it's like that. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, so it, it feels like Florida down here. Gross. <laughs> Indeed, my friend. Uh, so be, humid. So you feel it's humid, the, like, uh, you guys are, but anyone who can sweat, who has sweat glands, begins to sweat a little bit. Um, be it. Are there any mushrooms around? Uh, there are still mm -hmm. no mushrooms in sight. Pooey. Uh, is uh, is there anything else around here? Like, can I, can we see any? Like, I know there's dilapidated buildings, but are there any structures that appear to have withstood the sands of time? Uh, yeah. Make a perception check, really quick. Hmm. Uh, ten. Ten. Most of them seem like you like there's like some that are like have just the roofs gone. There's some that are just like have like mostly just windows busted out. Everything is in multiple stages of disrepair. You could like technically, if you like actively searched for it, you could maybe find one that's like uh, generally fine. But it's like it's pretty obvious that nobody lives here, right? Yeah, no, like they're like all like uh, just not like no one has lived here in a while. And if they were, they'd probably be like a monster or something like a hook horror. I will say. Brother. I hear a bubbling. Oh, brother. In that way, brother. And he points off, I, even though, like, you probably can't see from be behind your head. <laughs> <laughs> I just start walking in that direction. Cause I'm <laughs> <old>. <laughs> Hell's that? All right. Uh, so you begin to uh, approach uh, further into the city. Uh, multiple, like, skeletons, like, in very various funny poses are on different areas. Uh, you see that there are skeletons, yeah, posing skeletons. skeletons. <laughs> like a one looks like it's like fishing, and then one looks like it's like fighting another person. But like they're like what all the the fuck? Um, Eventually, <laughs> like this was a Pompeii situation, or this was like some creepy artist who 
wanted to do I their mean, final on dead people. We're just an enthusiast I mean, of there, Halloween. Or, yeah, or that. I mean, there is lava around, so it could be a Pompeii situation. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. So, Mugwort, as you leave... Any fleshy bits left on that metal? No, no, it's fully bones. <laughs> Alright, cool. But as you guys uh, pass these and head for closer to the bubbling, you see that there is a very odd situation going on. In the center of this place, there seems to be what looks like a a divot, like like a, in the ground, like a hole in the ground that has lava, like uh, billowing at the bottom of it. But on four different parts of this hole, there are chains all connected to a small islandette that has a uh, a like dark uh, like a, a, gl- a glass like container, similar to the, similar to the other generators. But instead of having a distinct like thing inside of it, it looks like just a black orb kind of like floating around uh and distinctly around it there are 10 undead uh warriors uh just on the ground <laughs> we deactivated oh. the, the zombos right <laughs> yes. this looks it's way easier <laughs> they are face down on the ground hells yeah rel is this motist <laughs> uh but yeah the, there doesn't seem to be any way to actually get across to this thing there's just the chains Okay, so wait, there's four chains that are connected to the thing, and it's on an island in the hole in the lava. But are the chains chains on the mainland? The chains on the mainland, So, like, they're stretching out over the lava? Easy peasy! Okay. For for a dexterous monk, maybe. You're saying there's no way to get over there. (laughs) Well, there's no bridge. (laughs) Well... Chains are a form of bridge. (laughs) Chango bridge. (laughs) How how many feet of a jump for a horse would it be? Uh... (laughs) (laughs) It is around uh, a f- like eighty foot of of chain to get to this thing. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. I don't <laughs> jump that far. <laughs> uh, and the generators over there? Uh, it, whatever. It looks like a generator, like uh, the same like core of it, but it, like the, how the other one was like, an, like a heart, one was a brain. This just looks like an orb. Just an orb, a black orb, a white orb, a yellow orb, dark orb, Darth Doc. orb. Darth, Darth, Darth Orb. Orb. <laughs> hmm. I think we can easily get over there. What how, brother? By a shimmying. <laughs> how hot is it gonna be? James must be so hot, though. <laughs> no, brother, you will gonna... look. Oh, so <laughs> Actually, bad. now that you mention it. <laughs> I imagine a little mushroom on a skewer over a fire. Oh my David, how far can you throw, strong one? Uh, I can throw real good. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't sound confident that time, David. D- don't worry about it, bro. Ski. Mm. He gives him a thumbs up. <laughs> Confidence waning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can totally do this. Would you like me to throw you in horse form? Perhaps a rock first. Okay, and he's gonna, he's gonna throw a rock. <laughs> well, and it must be it must be properly horse sized. Oh, of course, he's oh, gonna... rail sized. He, he, he grabs a door, <laughs> he rips it off, and, he, and he's going to attempt to throw this. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> throw off with bated breath. So he throws it, and it falls like it gets like a ten feet, and then falls directly into lava. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's first? Brother, brother, perhaps you are to be a mushroom gorilla. <laughs> David, why do you not throw a rock of our mushroom size bodies and maybe not the gorilla one? <laughs> All right, let me see. He'll, he'll, he grabs, goes and grabs a rock. He's going to throw it again. <laughs> and... <laughs> He gets it like, uh, like three fourths of the way, and it smacks the edge of the thing and falls down. Oh, David! <laughs> David, do not tell me all of those muscles are for looks alone. No, I'm mean, actually doing this. He works out his glamour ones only. <laughs> David, no! You must work out the real muscles. So David's gonna rage. the rock, David. He gets just it. watching this happen at this point. He's just in here like, what the fuck is happening? He like he huffs and puffs and he grabs onto something and he fucking 
Uh, I'm gonna see if he like uh, if he does good. Okay, that's better. Real, so real like puts his hand across his forehead, like watching, like you know, like somebody like uh, scouring. They have their their hand on their forehead, like watching in the the sunlight. <laughs> Oh goodness! So he grabs like a big like a, a someone's bed and throws it, and it direct hits the fucking uh, thing. <laughs> I'm saying fucking oh, no. it does beautiful. Damage. <laughs> Holy Ooh, does shit! Does it damage it at all? He crits. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. so he gets really worked up, really mad that y'all always call it saying he, his muscles are for show, <laughs> and he fucking crits against it, dealing six damage just straight to this thing. Does it react? Uh. Let's roll an attitude dice. Oh attitude. god. Um, you see no noticeable reaction. <laughs> oh perfection! That uh, will do, David! <sighs> Alright, good. Yes, I am I am I did it. Yeah, yeah. So strong. <laughs> You've proven yourself, David! Now I can throw one of you and he like, I like, had <laughs> no doubts. <laughs> Me either! <laughs> <laughs> You see, Dave is very much sweating a lot. <laughs> All right, David, you may throw me. All right, let's do this. Over the chains, just in case, though. Yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna aim right in front of the chains. Oh, good job. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna roll these one at a time. We're gonna roll a mini dice. Okay. And now we're gonna roll the big dice. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a little too That's good. Either. I was going to say, that's either really good or really bad. Um, Rel, <laughs> how much do you weigh? I weigh... <laughs> hold on, I, I do have it noted on here somewhere, I just have to remember where it is. Depending how many pounds you weigh, depending determine the damage. Uh, you did an overthrow into the lava behind it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! I weigh 45 pounds. Okay, we'll do a d4 then. So... <laughs> So David throws you so hard that you deal no. two damage to this thing as you smack into it. <laughs> and I just like fully sprawled out grab onto it. Uh, we're gonna roll into the add two dice with disadvantage. Okay. Uh you see no noticeable reaction. Okay, what does the texture of this thing feel like? Um the, the thing you're grabbing onto is glass. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh, I mean, okay. you, can look, you can look inside it though. It looks like very like weird and squishy. Mm. Yes. Uh, okay. Cool. Well, I'm 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 gonna call back or, like over my shoulder. I have made it. <laughs> Excellent work, brother. Excellent work, David. Yeah. Yeah. My work claps. <laughs> right, can, I, can I like? Can I somehow like shimmy up it? Uh, yeah, I I'll say it's pretty like, easy. Like legs and hands flailing in a cartoonish way. <laughs> yeah, you flop <laughs> the top of this little circle thing, and you're on it now. Beautiful. I will now attempt to get inside. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, let's see here. All right, I have all sorts of stuff on my hand. Hell yeah. So, I'm going to attempt to pwinch it. Alright. Uh, so... Do I have to roll to hit if it's a non-moving object? Um, I mean, just to be like, it's like toughness, yeah. Oh, poopy. <laughs> uh, how about a 15? A 15, I'll do it. Okay, cool. Hey. So, now to D... Six plus one magic for my left hand, and I get plus one poison damage. <gasps> uh, and so let's. Where's my d6? He's a one and a two for nine plus one magic is ten plus one poison is eleven. Hell yeah. Damn. So you punch into this thing and it cracks like a big ol' fucking crack in the center of it. Um, Dutimus. As this happens, um, Rel, you see that as you're on top of it, the middle of the, like, the thing splits open and you see that this is an eyeball. Ooh. Well, oh, it no. is an eyeball. I would like you to make... It's another from my collection. I like... <laughs> Like a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. Oh, 14. Oh, fuck. 
I got 15. Okay. You feel this thing try to bury itself into your brain, but you push it away just in the nick of time. Um, you can see it's like intensely staring at you, and it is a very dark. Can I like look up and away from it? Oh yeah, you can look away from it. <laughs> I'm just gonna like stare up. <laughs> it is looking at me. <laughs> Are you harmed, brother? No, but uh, it is very uncomfortable. <laughs> Eyes are very sensitive. Perhaps you could skewer it. Oh, but of course. I'm going to attempt to to punch the glass again. <laughs> All right, go for it. Still staring straight up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably not going to hit with a two. Uh, you try and oh. smack it and it simply refuses to break again. I need you to make another wisdom saving throw. Uh, but I'm not looking at it. <laughs> Oh, 14, that's... That you beat it, though, that oh, works. I beat it, I was gonna say, I beat you it just, just barely. I, again, okay. you feel this thing trying to grab into your mind, it's like the mental tentacles try and, like, wrap around your soul, but it does not work. I have a mind of steel. <laughs> I'm gonna try and punch it again. Uh, 19. That'll do it, yeah. Okay, so now yeah. my 2d6 again. We're just, like, on the sidelines, just like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, we're just cheering. We're cheering real on. All right, for seven total damage. All right, let me remove that. So minus seven. Uh, the creature it, it's gonna do the same thing it was doing before. It's gonna try and make him do a wisdom save. Oh fudge! Uh, where's my good dice? Okay, one more. Uh, it's an eight. Um. Oh no. So actually, no, because you're fighting, I need. I do need to roll with advantage. Oh hell, please. Nineteen. Okay, so. Again, you can, it, it feels like it keeps surrounding you. Whatever th this thing is, is not going to let you try a go as long as you're attacking it. Um, but I guess it's your turn. This is like pseudo and if damage is too. <laughs> so yeah, it's back to room. I got 19 again. All right, give me more damage. Okay. Whoops. For two <laughs> plus three is five, six, seven, seven total. Okay, seven. Uh, you punch it again. More glass uh, breaks. Uh, and you're getting closer. The you can now see that the wire, like a like oh mesh wire gosh. underneath it, is kind of like, like that. The one there is mesh wire underneath it, like see through wire. Um, but it again, I'm because it's just you two. I need to make another wisdom save. Can I stuff some mind flayer mayo into my mouth first? Uh, mind flayer. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Did you write down? That gives you plus one wisdom, right? Yeah. That is true. Yes, it gives you plus one wisdom, minus one int, right? Or is it just a wisdom? Yep. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, so yeah, so. For temporarily, I think it was like for 24 hours. It was like you get an extra yep. uh, one. To win. Yeah. So as as I'm getting ready to put, I'm gonna just stuff some mayo from my pocket into my my mouth, and I imagine since it's been sitting in there for a while, the majority of it is soaked into my pants. Oh. And the rest of it is like that white tra or that really transparent kind of <laughs> color because oh. it's been warm. <laughs> oh, I think I know what you oh, mean. God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows the little it. bits on the edge of the the mayo container that oh, didn't get soaked no. up. <laughs> it makes it look oh, even better to you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. God. It's seasoned. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to absorb that into my system. Okay. And now, <laughs> what was it again? DC 14 wisdom save. Do I still have advantage? Oh, wait, I don't need yeah, it. I got 15. You do still have advantage because you're fighting it. Uh, again, it tries to grab at you, but it can't do anything. Also, it has only one attack. <laughs> Mine of steel. Mine of steel. <laughs> you can do it, brother. Uh, but a two doesn't hit this time, so. All right. So once again, you can see it begin to stare at you. <laughs> It's it's eye like furrows and fucking tries to grab you again. Oh, I'm so scared. This is too many successful. Uh, do I? But I still have advantage, still advantage. so that's a seven and a nine. Yep, that was. Right. No. So, Arel, as you're beating the shit out of this thing, you've almost killed it, and as you are about to punch once again, you oh, feel something like snap on your brain and you feel your like body go taut and um actually i need you to roll a, a d20 <laughs> to see how bad this is I'm say i'm gonna have some trouble considering oh, my God. current God. predicament here choice. so a 14 you feel that you have lost something important to you oh shit you for some reason don't know what you're br actually you're looking at the people behind you who are they? I mean, you know them. They're friends, right? But you have no idea what the fuck their names are. Oh. 
these are the people who are cheering for me. Brother! What's the matter, brother? Yes, cheer, person, cheer! I clap vigorously. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to try and punch again. Hell yeah. With advantage, so that's a four and a uh, 13, which doesn't succeed. Okay. Oh, sorry. oh wait, I, I, sorry, I got mixed up. I only needed a, to see if I was going to successfully hit it, which I did not. Uh, you got a, you didn't get above a 10, right? I got, well, 13. Okay, that hits, yeah. That's above 10. I thought it's, you said, it's, oh, it was 14 for the DC, yeah. The other it's, thing. It's armor yeah. class is very low. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, how about a little bit of a 3 plus a 4? 7, 8, 9 total. Heck yeah. You punch again. This thing is like begins to vibrate and shake violently. Uh, make another, <laughs> make another wisdom. Good. <laughs> <laughs> another wisdom saving throw? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. The constant saves. With a 20. All right. Uh, you feel like you're pretty fucking good. Like, hey, this thing can't hurt me. I don't know what that means for you, but I don't know nothing. <laughs> so, you just, so it's your turn again. And does a 19 hit. That'll it does. Do it. All right. Come on, baby. For a three plus a six. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven total. Uh, you punch like once more time, and you, the, your fist, the momentum goes through the glass, through the mesh, and into the like center of this uh, eyeball. Um, uh, the fucking the pupil is absolutely gorgeous. Your fist is like fully inside of it. <clears throat> Delicious. I'm gonna try and pull my fist back with uh, with some of it in my hand. Oh yeah, you pull out like a good like chunk of the guts and weirdness of it, um, and you see like. You know, everyone is still, all those weird people are still watching you. Uh, for context, you will not know the names of your companions for 24 hours. Holy shit, that's so oh, long! Uh, Rel, Holy you, crap! Uh, anyone who wants, uh, actually, Rel, I'd say you only can roll a uh, Arcana check on yourself because no one else knows what's happening. Oh my Ooh. god, okay. Uh, actually, let me say uh, DC's 10 plus spell level, so you gotta beat a 15. Oh, fudge. I got exactly a 15. Uh, you've been affected with the Modify Memory spell. Ugh. But yeah, uh, you have a fistful of this eyeball meat as your uh, anonymous <laughs> cheers uh, go on in the background. Uh, what do you do now? <laughs> He's gonna, like, stand up with his fistful of squishy bits. <laughs> Behold, I am the best! <laughs> Excellent job, brother! Now we must bring you back to shore! Yes, bring me! Uh, David! Oh, well, what's up? <laughs> oh, dude, what's up? <clears throat> Can you throw a rock to my brother without hitting him off of the item? Oh my god, that sounds so dangerous. Like, <laughs> throw a rock to him? Yeah, how high is he up off the ground? If I, like, if I, if I tied my infinite rope <laughs> to a rock... And we threw that to oh. Rel, and then he wrapped it around the thing. Could he, like, zip line down? <laughs> I mean, if you could get it across there, yeah, you could definitely do that. Also, let me just really quick... Uh, I just realized my infinite rope is perfect, because even if it falls in the lava, I have all of it all the time. Anyway, yeah. I guess yeah. yeah. Um, while this is happening, oh, I would like... Uh, before you guys be begin this, I would like you guys all to roll a perception check. Oh, okay. Oh! oh what? Maybe I don't have to do anything. Maybe something uh, bad's gonna happen. I rolled a two. I That's got a, a two. A one. Oh. I rolled an eighteen. Damn. That's <laughs> shit. Okay, so Wait, I can roll it again if I have to though, right? <laughs> so uh who got what again? Was did anyone get like around like a fourteen or no? Uh I got eighteen and my flower got fourteen. Okay. So uh Mugwort, uh I guess only you are able to see that uh so you guys are on the uh, the around like w like west side of this thing, and Rel is like at the corner. You see that at the northmost uh, side, where the uh, one of the chains. Now that you're looking at it, it, looks a little bit more rusty than the rest of them. You see that two weird things begin walking forwards. Now, obviously, it can't be one of the zombies things because you guys deactivated all those. But these two things look like su suits of like armor, like people in like armor suits. Uh, and they both have, like, double Vs on their chest, and they begin walking and walking, and they head to the front of this chain thing, and they look up, they look at Rel, and they look down, and I need my dice really quick. 
<clears throat> I got a bad oh. feeling about that. <laughs> oh, what's this gonna be? Oh, what's this gonna be? Oh shit! Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Um, give me a quick second. That's a crit. Uh, oh god. Now, what? Now we did double damage. We were saying double damage for all of our stuff, right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what? give me a second. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, what the fuck is <laughs> Okay. So five plus one, and then plus. Okay. So you see that uh, the rusty like chains on this side. One of these things, uh, like, punches it, and it kind of shakes a little bit, and one, like, gets a big stomp on it, and the whole thing begins, like, shaking, uh, as the rusty, like, chains begin to kind of waver, and Rel, you feel this as you're on the island thing. Wait, so they're, they're climbing on it and stomping on it? Uh, they just go to, the, like, the, where the chains are, and they start trying to punch them. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> uh, a little bit of help would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I, I, wait, does anybody have a bow and arrow instead of just a rock? <laughs> <laughs> no. I got a rock. I don't. <laughs> I, I got a rock. <laughs> <Don't run. laughs> right. Okay, so I tie um, my end of my infinity rope to the uh, the rock and I tell David he must throw it to my brother without... David, you must throw it to my brother without knocking him off the platform! Uh, I got this. Uh, and this will be the last oh, thing that happens before we roll initiative really quick. Uh, I'm going to roll... He's still yeah. raging, so let's see. Uh, that's a 17 plus 3, so, uh, he throws it and it gets actually caught on, like, the, the, like, the generator thing. So, yeah, it's definitely there, Banana. Uh, I'm gonna- Ah, uh, very good giant man! <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I need you guys all to roll initiative really quick as this happens. Uh. Oh. I got a well, three. I got a natural one. Oh, I guess nice. Yeah, you can get a one. <laughs> okay. So 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 wait, who got a one? Me, I got a one. All right, Mugwort got a one. Uh, Moth, what'd you get? Three. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. And uh, Rel, what'd you get? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, so Rel, you're definitely going first. Nice. Except you can't do shit. <laughs> uh, the rope is over uh. on your side now. If you want to try and do anything with it. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try and. Uh, slide down and, and grab onto it and begin my shimmy across the lava. Okay, so it is connected to a piece of glass on the generator. Um, are you just, like, just trying to just grab onto and start climbing? Yes. Okay, uh, let me roll something really quick. <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> Can't wait to find out what that is! <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I mean, I will say, like I said, it's connected to just a piece of glass. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Rel, can you... <laughs> how fast do you go again? <laughs> I hope it's fast. What is your uh, what's your monk speed? Um, hello? Did I lose myself? Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, never mind. Yeah, everyone was silent. <laughs> hello, everybody. My name is Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I believe monks are fast as fuck, right? Yeah, but it's a little one. It's just a little monk. Just a little monk. Just yeah, a little monk. I mean. <sighs> A, an appropriately sized monk. <laughs> an adequate monk. A perfectly natural sized monk. Actually, above monk. average monk, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, whoopsies. Whoopsie! <laughs> Not very fast. <laughs> <laughs> very slow. <laughs> I will like to say that ever, uh, I did roll Walking. a 1, a 1, and a 4. <laughs> for, for, for my... 1, a 1, and a 4? Oh, yeah. good. Cause like, don't monks get like plus ten speed for each level up? Uh, yes, my speed is increased by ten feet while I'm not wearing armor or wielding a shield. So fifty. Fifty. Okay. <clears throat> so remember when I said this uh, chain was eighty feet long, and you uh, you are now fifty feet <laughs> across. <laughs> so uh -huh. so you get fifty feet across uh the, to the rope. So five, six, seven. So you're thirty feet away from the edge. Um, and the glass no longer, uh, <laughs> holds the plane and falls off, and you begin falling, and the rope smacks oh, against the no. wall. I was gonna say, what? I'm going to immediately, um, use my feather fall ability, or my slow fall ability. Okay, and you're gonna hold on to the rope with this? Yes! Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on, let me find it real quick. Where is it? Yeah, slow fall. 
Okay, yeah, I'm going to immediately use slow fall. Gotcha. So you activate slow fall, you and the rope slowly get to the side of the lava thing. Uh, you're it's like slow. <laughs> you're around like 20 feet away from the lava right now, going straight down. But you're so, you're holding on, Anna. I'm assuming the rock that uh, stays, as no one tampers with the rock, uh, you are still holding on. And you're fine. Sweet. Yeah. Of course. Uh, absolutely. <clears throat> Uh, so you see uh, over <laughs> on the other side where these uh, things are at, one of them points uh, further away and then uh, that one starts walking away, so I'm taking them out of initial order. Uh, and the other one begins walking over to you, so... Uh, Wait, what are these things? They look I like... I think they're like suits of armor. <laughs> yeah, people in armor. Or you assume like it looks oh. like... Like, so, like, if, like it looks like a suit of armor was like fully covered so you can't see who's underneath it. Could be anyone. Could be it anyone. Could be me. It could be you. Anybody. It could be me. It could even be a bucket. <laughs> so 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, it gets to uh, the next chain, but is not able to get all the way to you guys. Uh, with that, it's going to be uh, Billy Bob's turn. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hi. I- I'm trying to think. I'm thinking. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm doing a while. Because of what's going on. My brain's also trying to think of like, I did. He sent that other guy away. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe he's just I'm also afraid get of a drink. A- it's hot. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just go get a drink. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. So like, bro, give me some, man. Um. Uh, uh, shit. I'm trying to think really hard. <laughs> <laughs> galaxy brain billy bob i need to draw billy bob over a galaxy brain meme because <laughs> i'm trying not to like because i'm trying to think of like do i attack him or do i not we did roll initiative it's fully up to you bro get the initiative to just talk to him <laughs> hey buddy <laughs> See who what you first. doing <laughs> that'd be so great in real life <laughs> if, uh, like everyone was like all right let's all roll for initiative See who, what order we all talk in <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> is, he even, is he even paying attention to us? The armor dude? Yeah. I mean, he's actively approaching you, so yeah. <laughs> but maybe he's approaching as a friend. Maybe. But also, why is he wearing a full thing of armor and with another dude there? Because <laughs> dudes like to hang out in suits of armor, of course. Yeah, uh-huh. Dudes love hanging out. Don't you know that? <laughs> Just dude stuff. <laughs> it's like that hot dog meme. Two dudes hanging out. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> boys. Not gay. <laughs> boys being boys. <laughs> if I tried to hide behind something and wait until he got closer so I could sneak attack him, could I do that? Uh, yeah, you can definitely like. A, I think you could do like a disengage and then hide. Yeah, as your action. Yeah. Oh god, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Uh, so basically, as a bonus action, you disengage, and the, or you can like, uh, like, and then you can just uh, go somewhere else as act. You could like jump back. Yeah, and then you can uh, like yeah you can hide. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. All right. <laughs> You're just gonna dip out. <laughs> I just, I just, I'm just wanna, I just wanna wait and see what he does. All right. <laughs> all right. Roll, uh, roll a stealth check, and I'll roll post. All right. Shit. Um, six. Uh, is it plus my dexterity? Or? Uh, yes. Alright. 18 then. Okay, yeah, definitely uh, beats it by 10. So, uh, everyone looks around and Billy Bob's gone, and <laughs> you've hidden behind a small, like, rubble thing. <laughs> and that's it. That I'm, I'm gonna end my turn there. <laughs> Alright, gotcha. Uh, with that, it's now going to be uh, Mugwort's turn. What are you gonna do, Mug? Um, is How close is it to me? Uh, it's around like thirty feet too, so you have to take a whole turn to get up to it. Hmm. I think I do want to attack it because it's basically coming at me, and I think that's enough for me. So, wait, how many feet? Let's see. I have 60, 60 feet of speed. Can I as run up and try to knock it down? Yeah, as a horse, yeah. run up and try to knock it down. Hell yeah, dude! That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, here we go. No, oh, maybe not. It's a uh, six plus four, ten. Uh, unfortunately, ten is not going to hit. As you run up to it, uh, it you try <laughs> just and, run up to it. You try and like like ram him down, and he just grabs you and stops you in place. Oh, oh damn! <laughs> uh, with that, how much how much damage do I take? Oh, no damage. No, he didn't attack you. 
Oh, good lord! Wait, he just throws yeah. my horse ass to the ground. <laughs> no, he just stops you. Like, like a, whenever like you like a toddler's running at you and you grab their head and they can't move forward. Like that. <laughs> oh, that's oh my god! How embarrassing! That's Shut up! That's amazing. <laughs> Okay, I am visibly angry. <laughs> I guess my turn's over. Just like a toddler. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, let me find this. Uh, David is going to do the most David thing possible. He's going to throw a fucking rock. <laughs> David throws rock. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. Actually, does hit. Okay. So he throws a rock. It flies through the air. It smacks the student. <laughs> God fucking damn it. How is he crit yeah. every time? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I roll max damage all the time for David. God damn, it's only David. That's insane. Every enemy, nothing. David fucking strong. <laughs> <laughs> David, David is literally just out here just one-shotting everything at this point. So you see a rock soar by and clonk this thing and head denting its armor. Oh my god. Damn. So that dealt six damage. God damn. Uh, but yeah, with that, it's now going to be the creature's turn. Uh, they are going to look towards uh, a mugwort, and they are going to attempt some... If I could not drop my fucking dice! <laughs> oh, I think I fully lost it. Damn, where did it go? There it is. I to... Alright, sorry guys. Sorry in advance, I have to grab my toes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry audience, the sound of me grabbing dice in my toes is a surgery. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You gotta have oh. the funniest sound effect right there. Oh no. Oh, oh no. wow. Okay, I crit again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so Mugwort. Um, yeah. You oh shit. It, uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's just eight bludgeoning damage. Eight bludgeoning oh damage. God. Okay. Yeah, they, just, <laughs> they, they literally just clock you in the face. <laughs> Yeah, uh, just horse oh, puncher, yeah. horse punching simulator. Okay, yeah. that knocks my ass down to like eleven. Yeah, and then they miss, they miss with their second attack, and they try and swing, and they fully miss. Okay. Uh, but Bang. yeah. Animal okay. abuse. Someone call Peta. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that, it's not going to be Rel's turn. Uh, cool. I'm I'm shimmying up this rope. All right. Uh, yeah. I'll say without even any issue, you get up it, and you're out of danger. Oh, sweet. Uh, and you're now up with your friends. Or these randos. These <laughs> yeah. weird randos. These random like people who seem to think you're really cool, but I don't know. Oh, I mean, I I, I am pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so Rel's going to like quickly survey kind of the situation here. Uh, and first he's going to pause and admire David's height. <laughs> he's so big, just like David. <laughs> uh, but thanks. You would like him. He, you could be brothers. <laughs> and, and you you could both hold me on your shoulders together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool, little dude. David, like, just punched a guy or threw a rock at a guy really hard. <laughs> David just threw a rock so hard it broke the sound barrier. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love it. Uh, so how many of these guys? There's only two of them here? Uh, the, one of them told the other to run away. There's only one oh, that's right. engaging mugwort who just got bitch slapped. Yep. Uh, do not worry, tiny pony. I will help you. Um, he's gonna, I'm gonna go and rush in and try to attack this thing. Hell yeah. Uh, may attack roll, yeah. Uh, 15 hit? 15 is not hit. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> well, I rush in and look like I'm gonna help. <laughs> uh, <laughs> with good intent. <laughs> you attempt to punch this dude, uh, and it just you know either either either, you, whips. either you whiff I or it bonks. <laughs> I'm pretty, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> a fart and a fart anyway. and a miss. I just both times. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, with that is now going to be uh, the creature's turn is going to turn towards you, Rel, and is going to do one attack on you. Hey. Does an unnatural 20, I assume, hits? What? Of course it hits! Alright, that's going to be three blessing damage. <laughs> Plus, oh wait, how much? Three. Oh, okay, that's not, that's not awful. And then they go to attack Mugwort. <laughs> God fucking did Okay, <laughs> uh, unnatural 21. <laughs> Why am I? What? It's not gonna be a horse so long. Uh, so that's gonna be six points of bludgeoning damage. Wow! Hit you a little bit harder than you hit me. 
<laughs> I need to like roll away. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's just beating the shit out of his horse. <laughs> Is Billy Bob still hiding? Where is he? <laughs> Billy Bob is hidden. So speaking of, it is too far. Chill. Speaking of, it is Billy Bob's turn now. <laughs> he's, pl he's plotting. Okay, he's plotting. <laughs> I'm. I'm assuming I'm gonna go sneak attack the guy. Okay. <laughs> with my ritual dagger. Okay, so, uh, I would say you do. You are already hidden, so I say roll stealth with advantage to get close to him. Also, I need to roll. You said with advantage. Yeah, with advantage because you are already stealthed. All right. 18. Is there anything added to that? Uh, your dexterity. The unnatural 20. Hell yeah. So yeah, you get up right behind them. Uh, yeah, make your attack with advantage, bro. Okay. 18. How, that exactly hits. So, uh, make your attack right. and then add your sneak attack damage. Okay, <laughs> shit. Uh, wait. Okay. Oh! Okay. I'm a little worried. <laughs> That ritual dagger is very strong. Who? <laughs> also, I will say, tell me specifically what the poison damage is, really quick. Wait, okay. Uh, so, I think I got like. How much is poison damage again? I forgot. Uh, is 2d6s. It the, the 2d6. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so, poison damage is 8. Okay. So, separately, that is 8. And then, what's the rest of the damage? <laughs> <laughs> and regular, regular damage is so it was what's 21 minus 8 uh <laughs> like 13 see regular damage it's 21 minus 8 ah uh, that's not the right answer is that switch right <laughs> that yeah 13 so yeah think, 13 damage yeah. as you stab into this thing um and you see that the poison damage like like gets into the system but Actually, roll a perception check, because it seemed like you feel like the, the poison damage could have done more, but something didn't happen. Oh, shit, what? <laughs> uh, that's a six. Uh, yeah, you, for some reason, you have no idea why, but the poison is just not working. What, what work? the fuck? The poison didn't work. Poison oh. damage did not work. Well, we don't know why. <laughs> Probably because the armor. <laughs> I, I I assume Billy Bob just mutters what the hell to himself when fuck? that happens. <laughs> what the hell? Fucking uh, Taylor Taylor Swift kind of vibe. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows what I'm talking about. Anyways. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, but yeah, with that is now going to be Mugwort. Right. Uh, I assume I'm at a very disadvantaged situation, having just gotten <laughs> the shit kicked out of me uh, as a pony. So, can I roll out of the way to save my pony butt? Um, you. If you run, if you can unless ponies? you have unless you have a unless you take a disengage action, which actually takes your full action, you will have mm. to take a, a, a attack of opportunity. All right, I'm just gonna go for it and try to. Am I like on the ground or am I just getting punched in the face standing up? You're getting punched <laughs> in the face standing up. So if you want to disengage, you can just use your full action disengage and you won't be having an opportunity to attack. But if you just want to run and like still have your action, you would have to take an opportunity to attack. No, I just want to attack. I just really this guy's pissing me off. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah. Okay, eighteen plus four twenty-two. That hits. Yeah, awesome. So let's see. Do, do, do. Reach five foot. Okay. Blah blah. Okay, so it's two d six plus four. Woohoo! With my little hoofy hooves. Ooh. Ooh. Dang, that was a lot. That was like sixteen. Okay. It was so like two d sixes. All right. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Two d sixes. Uh, I got both sixes and then plus four. So you turn around and you kick this dude in the head so hard the helmet goes flying and there's nothing there. <laughs> no head. Aha! Uh -huh, now we what? have a culprit! <laughs> I just scooby doo this shit! <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, so you the, the helmet goes flying and is crunched in, fully damaged. Um, and this thing, you see that like it stands there for a second and then falls to the ground limp. And as it hits the ground, uh, you see the pieces of armor just fall apart and there's nothing inside of it. Headshot. It just looks like a pile of armor. Oh, I do a little victory oh. winny where I stand up on my little back hooves. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, besides that, uh, 
you guys can see in the distance as the green shield just fully disappears. And uh, this armor just like lays in the ground, fully lifeless. I go look through its pockets. Does it have pockets? Uh, can I go rummage through its armor? Look for something cool? Roll a investigation check. Wait, what do I add to that? Uh, your intelligence. Oh, but I'm a horse, though. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey. laughs> 11 minus... Oh, God, it's like a 7 with my minus intelligence. <laughs> so, it's a 7. 7. Um, damn. Like, ghost? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you find that there's poison from uh, Billy Bob's dagger in there. It stinks. Ew. Okay. It looks like I'm just imagining a horse nibbling through it like it's a pile of flowers. Just like lipping at it. <laughs> just yeah, yeah. grabbing my little horse lips. Oh, exactly. All right, yeah. I guess we'll find anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess I approach my brother. Ah, yes. You did great. You, as did you, brother. Yes, horse. I <laughs> pat his head. <laughs> Brother, you seem less intelligent than normal. <laughs> uh, silly horse, <laughs> calling me brother. You are the unintelligent one. <laughs> <laughs> I trot up to David. David! Oh, what's up, dude? I believe my brother got his bell rung! You didn't happen to hit him with that rock, did you? <laughs> I mean, I threw him real hard, but you know. <laughs> Silly horse! That is not David! That is... Other tall person! David! Is this good? true? <laughs> uh... <laughs> he looks a little, like, worried. He's like, man, I don't... I, I guess I'll introduce myself to someone else. I don't know, man. Hello there! My name is... Johnny Starling. <laughs> Confuse him. <laughs> pick him up in your strong arms and remind him what he loves yeah, most. Yes, yes, p pick me up, please. All right, here we go, Brandon person, and he picks you up. <laughs> I guess. Yes, I like this. I... This is good. <laughs> oh you were a brother, don't you? <laughs> These arms are like the strong arms of David. Don't, don't, it's gonna be fine. Just don't worry about it. He'll, <laughs> he'll probably be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, let's hope. What the hell happened? I wish bitch? to be in your and David's arms forever. <laughs> okay, bro. Are we? Are we? What's going on here right now? <laughs> are you good? I'm like, what is happening? I'm like a baby in your arms. I don't All right. Know, is this like a like a like a trauma thing? Like, what are we? What, what's going on here? <laughs> now we must go and find my brother. Okay, <laughs> and he holds you like a baby, I guess. Nice. Uh, like and it. he's like, "All right, guys, I guess my, me and my new kid here are gonna go on an adventure. Where are we going next?" <laughs> uh, we must find my brother. <laughs> He is probably out there lost and scared without me to protect him. I do not think that oh. is true. <laughs> Your brother is very brave. He, did, he is probably crying. He would not. He has ugly cries. That's uh, not oh. true. Oh, <laughs> it's so ugly. Sometimes I must look away for him. He really got a lot of head damage from David's <laughs> mighty throw, I think. Well, maybe we should go the way that weird armor guy was going. Um, yes. all right, y'all. Um, I'm. Are we feeling uh strong today? I am most strong. <laughs> all right, cool. I got punched I'm in the what? face very hard. <laughs> all right, twice. I can't. I am concerned for the well being of Rel because I I think I like the old version better. <laughs> Man, I don't That's know. That's saying a lot for him. I'm just, I'm just kind of here, man. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going wherever y'all going. <laughs> uh, we could camp for the night. Sure. That's what I just said. <laughs> eat I, I, must, I must find my brother first. If I am not there, he will not be able to sleep. Wait, wait, Rel, Rel, listen. 
<laughs> I heard that. Oh wait, you know my name. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Have you spoken with my brother? Yes, and he's in the now. He is with Don't a small hard. person and the big David. Yeah, and I heard that he is safe and sound with the two of them and is just living oh. it up. I, mean, <laughs> I think maybe you could come around and help us with what our dilemma is. Oh, yes. Of course, if my brother is fine, then yes, I, I may be of some help. Of course, yeah. very strong. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you. All right, let's go. Oh, and he <laughs> gives David, a, he gives <laughs> David and Mugwort a wink because he's like, "I got this to work." I I try to wink back with the uh, the three eyeballs in my tendrils, and I try to wink with the big eyeball floating above my head that I nice. keep forgetting about. But I don't think I have control over that one. The, the eyeball goes ring. <laughs> <laughs> Just as yeah, intended. It says something in Abyssal, but you don't know it. I don't see you speak that. You don't know what it says. Guess I'll worry about that later. <laughs> um, yeah, so where do you guys want to set up camp? I mean, here's fine, unless we see something else. Right. I look around. Yeah. What, what do I see when I look around? Uh, broken houses, broken steel, uh, the giant fire pit, uh, dead thing on the ground. Do any of the houses look cool? Like, there might be stuff in them? Roll a purely a luck check. <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds right. A luck check? Just a d20. Uh, oh, <laughs> 11. <laughs> uh, there's a house that looks like it was the owned by a man named Steve who liked <laughs> round things. Very interesting ob observation. He thinks there might yeah. be round things that way, shall we? Camp over there. <laughs> <laughs> What sort of round things? I wish I could tell you, but uh, I can't <laughs> right now. <laughs> but uh, why not? Uh, I wish I could tell you, but I can't <laughs> explain either. <laughs> it's a perception thing, brother. I mean, real brother. Oh. <laughs> yes, that, that checks out. Right. What do you say, Billy Bob? <laughs> What? <laughs> to the house to poke around and camp? Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Trot over there, I guess. <laughs> Hell yeah. So y'all approach the roundhouse. It's just a ball. And as you guys the walk in, house. <laughs> as you walk in, you see the bed is two giant balls. And then the fridge is one big ball. Uh, the the chair what? is a bean bag. Uh, the fish bowl is shattered on the ground and used to be a ball. Uh, the dead fish skeleton is a ball. <laughs> I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking the bag <laughs> and Billy Bob just flops onto it. Hell yeah, beanbag. Uh, I take dibs on the <laughs> wettest, moistest part of the floor. Alright, you stand there. Uh, and how about you, Rel? Uh, I'm gonna go crawl onto one of the balls and just call it good. Alright. <laughs> uh, and you guys take a nap. Uh, you see that uh, David kind of like blocks the door. A off. long nap. A, lo a long <laughs> sleep. A big a sleep. A big nap. <laughs> big nap. <Yeah. laughs> a long rest. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, you guys, with a soft crackling of the the lava in the distance, you guys all have a long rest and recover any spell slots missing or any hit points. Okay. Nice. Sweet. Thank can God. I four hit points to my flower and go to sleep with one hit point so I can get the most hit points back. Uh, yeah. So you have your uh, you're storing four hit points in your flower. Yes, gotcha. plus four. There we go. Gotcha. Let me write that down. Flower. Four HP. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you guys all take a good nap. Uh, what level are you guys currently right now? Six. Uh, six, right? six yeah. yeah. So in that case, uh, I will say you guys, by getting rid of every single generator, you guys get a level up. Oh, Yay! Snap! All right. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, <clears throat> that we're gonna take an intermission to do some level ups. I'm gonna get a drink. If you guys need help, let me know when I get back. I'm sure. I'm sure you guys All are right. fine. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm gonna get some drink really quick. <laughs> Just like I have no context for what that means. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> my epic armor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You all awaken from your slumber. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
uh, yeah, it's a brand new day. You guys feel rested. Uh, the, the crackling of the flames and the fire still are there. Uh, and Rel, because you've had a long rest, uh, you wake up with your friends. Oh, beautiful. Uh, oh, my, my friends, you have found me. Oh, brother. You brother. are done being an imbecile, I see. <laughs> I would like scary. to have you back. <laughs> I was so worried you would not be able to sleep without me. <laughs> Need not worry, brother, for I am not a coward, as I told you many times. <laughs> oh, I demonstrated brother. many times <laughs> also. Did you cry? I did not, even though I have many eyes now. None of them watered <laughs> even a single bit. And I am so cried. proud of you, brother. You don't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> It is okay. I give you a pat on the shoulder, like a very condescending pat on the shoulder. <laughs> this is, this is just off. the episode where Mugwort gets bullied the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and beaten. <laughs> and, and beaten. And physically beaten. <laughs> physically damaged as a Oh horse. my goodness. <laughs> yep. Remember, kids, don't punch <laughs> horses. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, what do you have to do? Mm. Uh. Hey, that's my line. I'm the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still a horse? You're just sleeping as a horse. <laughs> I'm not unpoofed. Wait, actually, no. I think I'm probably not allowed to stay as a horse that long. Well, well does it have a time? I was saying, what's what's the time frame on it? I think it's like hours, so I assume oh. the hours have run out. I'm a person again. No, I'm not. I'm a tiny mushroom man again. Here I am. Yeah. You're messing <laughs> Hello. Hello. But yeah, uh, you all wake up. David is already up and he's kind of like surveying. He has like a, his big old axe on his shoulder. He's like walking around patrolling, making sure y'all are safe. Oh, David, I was so worried about you. Ah, Rel, you're back. Where did you go? <laughs> I met new friends, one you would like in particular, very big and strong like you. Ooh, we're talking about, we're talking about like a big old, you know what, I'm actually not going to mention that to you. <laughs> nice. Uh, very big, held me in his arms. Ah, his, okay, got it. Uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> David's now, still confirmed. <laughs> where must we go? I uh, I mean that big glowing thing's no longer there, so that's pretty cool. Wait, what about the, the neon sign? Should still be there, right? Or no? Uh, let's find out. He like tears the door down and <laughs> oh, 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 oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> like fully like kicks the door down, fully like shatters it off its hinges, and then walks out. And it's like oh my god. Let me roll a perception to see if you can actually see it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yep, I see it. <laughs> Samuel Romero. That's fucking that guy, yeah? That's where we heard that name from. That big ass sign? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go that way then. Alright, cool. Uh, I guess. Alright. And he scoops up the mushroom boys. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. And here we go. And he starts running. <laughs> Happy. Wait, so he's got it. Oh, that's right. You're you're not a horse. I was like, you just grabbed no, a horse a, and threw I'm him not on a the horse. Shoulder. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, I think David could totally grab a horse. Yeah, yeah, a pony for sure. I'm a little horse. Yeah. <laughs> need a bit. I mean, I'm a little confused about the mechanics of me being carried by him and him being carried by me as a horse, but I'm sure it works. That's <laughs> ah, fine. It's like a circle. Yeah, <laughs> circle of life. <laughs> So, as you guys are approaching, the building attached to what looks like a giant tower, uh, the tower that is the thing is attached to looks ancient, and it seems like it look, it's been there for, like, eons, and looking at it, it look is difficult to do, but then looking down at the sign that says Samuel Romero's, uh, and then these, like, under, like, small things, uh, office slash house, uh, there seems to be, like, the most, like, modern thing, like, beautifully green painted, like, beautiful, like, front door, like, this thing looks like a, like, millionaire's office kind of type beat. A millionaire's office, yeah. but it looks nice. It's not ruins at all. Oh, this thing like looks nice. this thing looks pristine as fuck. It's got, it's like it's waxed. It's like beautiful green metal, like almost like the metal itself was like made to be green, like not even painted. 
<laughs> can I just go up and knock on it? Yeah, you knock on it. You will go approach the door and the door <laughs> open automatically. You oh. knock on the automatic doors. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, dude, yeah. it's just like pure metal and doesn't make a sound. Yeah, uh, well, like you, you, know. you didn't even get a chance to actually knock on the door. The door's just open. <laughs> oh, Billy <laughs> Bob is just like follow, follow me or whatever. I guess <laughs> and just walks in. Right. Now that's the initiative. Follow me or whatever. I guess. <laughs> Uh, as you guys walk in, the doors close behind you, and you see a hologram person kind of appears uh, in front of you, and it looks like the most stereotypical secretary in the world, like massive bazoingers, like big long blonde hair, like human person, like like nice eyelashes, like a whole bunch of makeup that looks natural, uh, and she says, Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome to the Veritas and Visionary's main office. If you have an appointment, no you don't. <laughs> <laughs> it is right, I do not. <laughs> A very astute secretary. <laughs> uh, and she like very like blankly like stares at you guys and just like looks like like very lifeless. Do you have any information about this place, possibly? <laughs> this is the headquarters of the Viridescent Visionaries. Our leader, Samuel Amaro, ha- lives here. How'd you get in? The door. Door. I guess it's not so smart after all. <laughs> what? She's She's look her her no, <laughs> she's allowed in here. She just stares at you. Can we have an appointment? Let me check the schedule. And she like put like a little like a mechanical thing like appears in front of her and she like scrolls. We have an appointment in three years. How does May 17th at 3 a.m. to 3.02 a.m. sound? Yes, that would that'd probably work. <laughs> All right. Can I get a name for this? I am Rel. Well. Right. Uh, you spell it with an E and a, another E. Yes. So you see, she types in R E L L E Z. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Your appointment has you been are. sanctioned. I will see you then. And she just stands there. <laughs> so now we walk past her, right? <laughs> but can I look for? Can I look for a switch to like turn her off? <laughs> Roll like the a, source of her hologram. <laughs> yeah. Roll an investigation yeah. check. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sweet. Is there anything added to that? Uh, your intelligence. <laughs> Mm. All right. Uh, I rolled a fifteen. <laughs> okay, you see that behind the desk as you like walk around there. Uh, she's just, "What are you doing?" And there's like a very big turn off switch. <laughs> and flick it off. Oh, oh, please don't do that! <laughs> and she's just gone. Oh, um, okay. now we don't have to worry about her possibly doing something <laughs> if she can. I mean, hey, Shelly <laughs> Bob. Why? What? Um, you must be a hacker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm I'm the ultimate hacker. Apparently Rocket me, TV. Billy Bob. <laughs> uh, where to? Can I look around and see if there's anywhere else to go from here? Yeah, there's a door directly behind you and a door to y'all's. Uh, when you enter to the right. Wait, a different door behind us? Uh, there's specifically like a door behind Billy Bob, like we're like behind the desk. Was oh, at. okay. And then one to the right of where you guys enter from. Do they look any different? Uh, they look like automatic doors. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like peek Do through the door. we go further in the building? <laughs> well, which one do you need? Uh, I mean, I assume the one behind the desk. Is- yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So, the one behind me. <laughs> so uh, y'all enter that room and you see that there is literally just a single sign that says, look up. Oh shit! <laughs> Red looks up. <laughs> There's just a smiley face that says, "Aim here." Oh, aim here. Yeah. I'm gonna like stick my fist up at, in the air in that direction. I will say there also in this room. There's a couple other things. There's like a potted plant. There is, of course, the sign. There's a couch, and there is a uh, a filing cabinet. And I go rummage the filing cabinet. Yeah, uh, you pop open the filing cabinet. And you see, um, actually, roll an Arcana check to see if you know. You see a whole bunch of like, uh, like, old pieces of paper. Um, but I'm not sure if Billy Bob would know what these are. 
Uh, what's added to that? Intelligence. I'll say you gotta be like a 10. It's not that hard. It's 11, so. You find a set of five uh, spell scrolls, a misty step. Oh. What does that do? Uh, it is a spell that allows you to teleport 30 feet. Oh. Perfect for Billy Bob. <laughs> I will take them. All right, so you have five. Uh, Shove them in my journal. <laughs> five spell scrolls of Misty Step. All right. Two. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, Rel's just sitting there, like punching at the air up at the aim here sign. <laughs> uh, nothing seems to be happening. Brother, I do not understand it. You must aim a weapon. I do not use weapons or rocks. I think your, I think your fish might work. <laughs> I am trying, and he's using both hands and punching at the air up at it. So, Step in, hold Billy you Bob up. Pull, <laughs> Bill, <laughs> Billy Bob pulls out his, <laughs> Billy Bob pulls out his regular <laughs> dagger and just points it up with Rel. Uh, D- D- David <laughs> picks uh, Rel up. Uh, Billy Bob, you do this. Nothing happens. Uh, I do not understand. Just says aim here. Yeah. And then there's a final cabinet full of uh, Misty Step scrolls. Uh, hmm. Rel's not Misty smart enough. Do? I won't say anything. <laughs> Wait, I already asked. Wait, hold on. It was Misty Step 2. <laughs> uh, so, Billy Bob. Oh, it teleports you. Oh. Oh. What if we try to use lame? Billy Bob pulls out the spells. <laughs> All right, uh, Billy Bob, what do you want to do? This might be a dumb idea. Can I try like using this, using the spell while looking up? Okay, you, <laughs> at the where it says "look in here." So you hold the scroll up to the ceiling. You read the spell, and you feel yourself begin to uh, get like misty and foggy, and, and you appear somewhere that is new. Everyone else, you can see that Millie Bob just disappears, and Bill Bob, you find yourself in a conference room. Mumbled myself, oh shit. <laughs> uh, you are alone, though. Where did the Billy Bob go? You also have- I- I- have expanded I, one of them, and you I, also have I, all of them with you. Oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> he has oh, <no>. disappeared! <laughs> I- I- I meant to give them two and forgot to do that uh, you look around this office area, you see that there's a filing cabinet with a, that also seems to be, like, more scrolls, and also, like, a big fucking massive chair that has, like, SR on it, uh, and then, like, a whole, like, a, a whole bunch of, like, just tables around, a whole bunch of chairs that look very, like, lower in quality, and the one at the very end is, like, actually at the break. Oh. Hmm. Can, can I search the office for one of the same fucking spell that they just used? Uh, yeah, you, you go to the filing cabinet here and you find two more. Oh. All right, I grab those, and then can I go over and do the spell again to teleport back? All right, where are you aiming? <laughs> I'm aiming where I was standing, bef- like, where I ended up teleporting to, I guess. I'm aiming down. Okay, uh, you read the spell again, and you pop up down there, and everyone sees Billy Bob here again. Billy <laughs> Bob! All right. Take one of these and aim it up there and just read the spell and you'll teleport. Okay. I meant to do that earlier and accidentally forgot. Okay, so I will say, when you use this, it expends it. So you have five right now and you give one to everyone. Uh, I'm assuming that includes David, right? Yeah. yeah. So everyone has one and you have two. Oh, All right. shit. How are we going to get back? Oh, no. no. What if we Figure just have out, hands? right? <laughs> Could we hold hands and do that? Let me look at the details of this spell really quick. <laughs> I doubt it goes over anything like that. <laughs> I know Dimension Door, you can bring one person with you. But... Yep. <laughs> um... It says you can bring one person. Wait, what did it say? Okay. Uh, briefly surrounded by silvery mist, you teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space. Uh, I'll say I'll remove this that you can see because of the spell thing. Uh, it is only self, so it is only one person. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. One person and their snail companion, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. All your companions come with you, okay? Sick. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it 
door out of there later, <laughs> right? I mean, we figured out how to do the thing earlier. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you guys have these spell scrolls now, and you know that there's an office upstairs. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing it. Uh, sure, be fine. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and use mine facing up at the the sign. Okay, so you cast the spell, and you appear up there, and you find the office area. You find the big old uh, chair up there. You find all the shitty chairs and all the really, really shitty chairs, uh, and now an empty filing cabinet. Brother, you hear me? Can I hear him? Can I... No. I was gonna He's say, very, can I do the comfort. spell? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> Billy Bob, you appear up there as well, uh, and you still have one left. Uh, okay, so I'm uh, I'm gonna search around and everywhere for um, another one of those signs. Uh, yeah, roll uh, an investigation check. Uh, Seventeen. Okay, so you don't find any more of the like look up and like you know the sign things. You do find that underneath the table, there is a whole bunch of buttons uh, by the person with, like, whoever, like, the big chair person is. There's, like, three buttons that are, like, uh, underneath it. I like buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go and uh, just press one. Okay. Uh, you press the one to the left, and all the chairs uh, go backwards, and they fall into the room. Mugwort, you see that th- five chairs hit the ground. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Wait, I see five chairs hit the ground. Where? Like five chairs, like from the ceiling, like the the wall, the <laughs> the whole ceiling opens up and five chairs fall into the room you're in. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is there like a, a a hole now? Uh, it ap- appears for a second and then is gone after they fall. Oh, dang it! All right, I guess I'm gonna float up then. <laughs> okay. What's going on up there? I so, float up. David, David, like you see him like sit on the couch and just stand there, and then uh, mug where you appear upstairs. <laughs> uh, and Billy Bob, David's you, watching out. You have the only one left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is there? Uh, well, what are you doing over there? Buttons. I'm gonna press another button. more of them. <laughs> All right. Wait. Wait, were you encouraging me to push buttons? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, I press another button. Okay, uh, do you press the one in the middle or the one to the right? The one on the right. Okay, uh, the exact same thing happens. Five more chairs fall down and they hit the ground. Dave is like, oh, okay. One <laughs> more <laughs> button and I quickly push the middle button. Uh, you see that a uh, motor gun shoots the middle chair like 50 times with like a machine gun and it the whole chair's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Well. All right, all right. I think we're done with the button press now. Oh, Jesus! Do not worry. I am out of buttons. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Is there literally nothing else in here that we can do? Nothing super significant, no. Huh. Is there a door to leave? Nope. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> I guess my entry may have been premature. I was worried I was missing some adventure. <laughs> uh, thin are the walls? Um, I mean enough to be like like less than thirty feet. I'll say that. And I try hitting one of them with my hammer. Uh, you smack it. It hurts. <laughs> uh. Like, I try smacking where we teleported with my hammer. Uh. You smack it, and it's just more... It's concrete. Damn it. Is there a window? Uh, uh there... Does Wait, now... Be- where the chairs were... Uh... Okay. So, I'm, I'm gonna be like... Let me try some science! Stand there! <laughs> and he's gonna point out one of the spots where the chair had been. Okay. Uh, who is gonna stand there? <laughs> Oh god. I will not push the middle button. Alright, good. <laughs> Billy, Billy Bob decides to go stand where one of the chairs fell. Okay. Alright, and, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna push. <laughs> Wait, are they coming up from the floor or down from the ceiling? Uh, they, like, you would be going down. Alright, cool. <laughs> Brace myself. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna push the, the button on the far right. Okay, uh, and Billy Bob, you fall down. 
That, oh, shit. So that's about it. Yeah, you you fall, you hit the ground, and you are now at the bottom. Brother, it is Wait. your turn. Should we have gotten the scroll first? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 this is, uh, surely we'll be fine. <laughs> All right. This is a nightmare. So, Rel, are you going to let your brother down? <laughs> oh, yeah, my brother can go stand in that spot if he wants to, and I'll I'll, I'll push the button down for him. Okay. Do not know how to get you back down once I am down. I'm sure you will find a way. Mugwort does not look very confident. Okay. Do not cry! I will find my way back to your brother! <laughs> and he's gonna push the button immediately. Alright. That was one time! <laughs> and then, and then, uh, <laughs> then Mugwort, you fall. Rel, are you on the chair right now? The fancy chair? Yeah, aren't I? Uh, I assumed you were. Um, roll a uh, oh, perception shit. with advantage. Oh, okay. That sounds oh. okay. Uh, a 9 and a 15. You feel there's a piece of paper behind you. Mm. My butt is itchy. I'm gonna reach back for it. Alright, uh, you find <laughs> another spell of, uh, of Misty Step, but you also see a little thing in the back that says, um, don't let any of these fuckers find this. Um, isn't it so great to live right where you work? Things are looking up. Things are looking at for real. I'm <laughs> gonna take my piece of paper over to the spot and use it. <laughs> All right, uh, where are you going? I'm going down, right? Going down where I was. All right, uh, you teleport and you're down. Beautiful. Do not worry, brother. I am here. Hi. I told you I am, as they say, resourceful. Very. You did not oh. cry, did you? Of course not! But I would never! <laughs> Nor have I ever! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we have one more door to check. Uh, yep. Yeah. So, I'm guessing y'all had right there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you guys walk in there and you see, uh, like, it, it curves around, and as the, like, the, the area curves, you see another massive door that says, uh, the boss's true office. No. Oh. oh, I want to walk in there. <laughs> uh, do you open that door? door. Yeah. Uh, you slowly push the door open, uh, and you see a couple things. Uh, let me make sure I didn't fucking lose this. There you go. <clears throat> you see that there is a person who looks similar to actually to uh, to David, a minotaur, who looks to have some very nice looking glasses, a perfectly made green like two-piece suit uh and they kind of turn around and say hmm i see <clears throat> it seems we have ourselves some visitors he mentioned you would be arriving today it's a pleasure to meet you all And this is where we'll end this episode for today, and thank you all for watching this episode of Infected Perception. If you enjoyed, leave a like and comment and subscribe for more. Our Twitter is soul1161 or Infected Perception. Stay safe and have a wonderfully spooky day. Not grab the- I, I hate autocorrect, goddammit. <laughs> What? Our correct is beautiful. All right. yeah, That's what they wait. call me, old normal Tiffany. Not <laughs> <laughs> like your username is not censored for some reason. It wants to dox you. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> oh my god. Because of what I'm wearing, isn't it? I I, I have really no idea what you're wearing. <laughs>